Hello everybody, today we're doing a video for GTA car kits on how to install our pure Bluetooth car kit and today we're going to be installing it in the 2007 Toyota RAV4 so we're going to first start off with what tools you'll need you'll need a 10 millimeter socket with an extension you're also going to need a Phillips screwdriver uh, some sort of panel removal tool and also a magnet so first thing that we're going to do is we're going to our main goal is to remove the radio to plug in our kit and first thing we're going to do is going to use our panel removal tool and we're going to remove these two side pieces on the side of the radio so we're just going to get underneath kind of pop them off they're just held on clips so don't worry about breaking anything same on this side like that and we're gonna put them to the side so over here you're gonna see there is uh, two bolts on each side and there's also a Phillips screw so this is uh, the, the tools that are, we mentioned is to take off these things so you see here same on this side two bolts and one screw so we're gonna go ahead and remove these right now so I mentioned in the beginning of the video that you're gonna need uh, some sort of magnet and this is for these bolts that are down there as you can see it's very hard to reach them but if you have the magnet same on this side you can just pull them out and just be careful not to drop them behind the radio as they can get over, like at the bottom and start rattling once you start driving so once you do that the radio is ready to come out and before we do that I'm going to show you what comes in the kit and what we're actually installing today. So you're going to have the main module which controls the whole thing. You're also going to have a harness which screws into the module here and on the other end of this uh, harness is this what going to plug in at the back of the radio. You're also going to have a microphone which will show you how to wire over here to the A pillar. There's an optional auxiliary cable that you can also wire if your particular car doesn't have auxiliary but this one does have it in the armrest and also you're going to be able to wire an optional charging cable that plugs into this USB port and this is just for charging and the cable is not included in our kit. So once you remove the radio we're going to first of all plug in our kit. So you just pull on the radio. <coughs> And you're gonna see here, there's uh, an empty port right here. We're just gonna plug it in, make sure it clicks. <clears throat> Once you do that, we're also gonna show you how to remove uh, this uh, the vents over here. So once the radio is out, we're just gonna grab a, grab on these vents. pull them out and uh, we, do, we did that in order for you to kind of rest the radio on top of here while you're kind of removing and wiring the rest of the kit and also this panel over here with this uh, all the controls and stuff for the HVAC we're also gonna remove it because we already removed the two screws that we showed you earlier so this one just kind of pops out and this gives you kind of a lot of space and once you're done with your installation this is a convenient area to hide your module because everything gets tucked in and hidden away so we're kind of gonna put this radio back and our next goal is to wire this uh, microphone and for that we're gonna have to remove uh, some of these panels underneath the steering wheel so first of all there's this big one here that you just kind of simply use your hands and it comes off it's also just held on clips and the rest of the procedure we're gonna show you from the outside of the car so now we're gonna use again our panel removal tool and we're gonna remove this uh, fuse box cover and we're doing this in order to for us to fish the wire to the back of the radio for this uh, microphone so next thing we're gonna remove is this uh, rubber piece between the interior and the door so the wire is going to be fed through here and we'll show you how. So we're going to start from the top and put the microphone here. This is where the microphone is going to be. And then we're going to fish it down. 
and over here we're gonna drop it to the inside We're gonna rest it there, and for now we're gonna put the rubber back. And uh, our next goal is to catch the wire. Over here it's hard to see by the camera, but I'm gonna just use my hands to grab the wire and pull it inside. So now I have uh, the hold of the wire, so I'm just gonna pull it inside. So there's no, no slack left. And make sure when you're doing this you take your time. So we're gonna tuck all the wire all the wires in there and I'm gonna put this back and as you can see the whole thing is hidden. And now we're gonna continue fishing it so because this is all open, this is our main goal. Because we remove these panels so we can just fish it all behind here. that and at this point you can put this uh, cover back and now the rest we're gonna show you from the inside so we have this uh, microphone wire on almost on the inside already so we're gonna continue fishing it to the back of the radio so I'm just gonna Catch it here. Just like that. So now at this point you can uh, put this uh, panel underneath the single back in its place. Just tuck it in. So once you have the wire on the inside at the back, at the back of the radio, we're gonna plug it in into the microphone slot at the back of the on the side of this module it's marked microphone and uh, like I said before there's also an option to wire the auxiliary and the charging cable and in this particular car uh, the owner didn't want to do that but if you decide to do it the best place would be to kind of drill the hole in this compartment right here there's plenty of space so if you just drill the hole and drop it down and you're gonna have the wires coming out out of this pocket right here if you don't want to drill anything because everything is open you can just drop the wire to the glove box over here and uh, once you do that like I mentioned before we're just gonna tuck in the module just around here this is a good spot for it so it's not gonna move around or anything like that so once you do that you're ready to assemble everything back and then we're gonna show you how everything works turn the car on to its uh, first position so the radio turns on and everything will work the same way but now you're gonna have an added feature which you didn't have before an added mode so we're gonna press the disc button so if you press it once it will take you to this to your regular CD which also everything still works the same way you press it again and you get to the CD1 mode which you didn't have before and this is the Bluetooth so now we're gonna pair to it so we're gonna go into our phone settings and we're demonstrating on the iPhone, but you can use it with any Bluetooth uh, smartphone. So we're going to go to Bluetooth. And you have about uh, first one minute to pair to it since turning on uh, to the first position. So GTA Car Kit. So once uh, the phone has been paired to the GTA Car Kit, we're going to go into basically any of our music. We're going to go into the internal music of the phone and we're going to turn the volume up almost all the way up on the actual phone to match the car system and then the rest you can control by the actual radio and you're able to switch the songs both from the phone and from the actual radio so as you can see I'm able to switch the songs here and uh, if you would have uh, steam wheel controls that would work too but this particular car doesn't have it so it's pretty easy to use it for the for the music and if a phone call comes in you have to be in this uh, cd1 mode which is which the radio is currently right now and we're gonna demonstrate how 
the phone call works. And there's two ways to answer. You can either answer from the actual phone or you can use the radio to answer and we're gonna use the radio to answer. As you can see it's ringing, the music has paused. So we're gonna answer with the next truck button here. And if you wanna hang up the phone call, you can either also do it from the phone or through the radio by pressing next track. And it's back to playing your music. And we showed you earlier the auxiliary cable which you can wire in this particular car, but we didn't do it because this car has auxiliary. But if you do wire it and you wanna listen to the auxiliary, here you can see there's disc up and down buttons. So you gotta switch to disc two. And this is where you'd be able to play the auxiliary. And if you want to switch back to Bluetooth, you switch back to disc one. And if we press play, it's back in uh, Bluetooth. So again, this was a video for GTA Car Kit in the 2007 RAV4. I hope you liked our video and we'll see you next time.